Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to make a short, uh, quick video on uh, uh, crimping, crimping these little connectors. Um, I have purchased a crimper on Amazon and these crimp connectors and some wiring. So I'm going to make a quick video. Uh, a lot of people are having trouble with this. So I figured, you know, that there needs to be a video made of this being done. Anyway, uh, these are the um, crimpers I bought. They have different uh, size crimpers for the uh, for the crimps. Okay, so you can buy this and the the wire and the crimp with a kit. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and run through it real quick. Um, you want to take your wire. Okay, I've got just like three wire here. Uh, I believe uh, brown, blue, and white. What we want to do is take a razor blade, okay, go a half inch, okay, up, and then what we want to do is just score it, okay, just kind of move this back and forth. You don't want to cut the wire, you just want to score it, okay. And we're going to go ahead and score it on the other side, uh, about a half inch, okay, just kind of, kind of rock the the knife back and forth here can okay, just kind of score it okay and then you sh it should be scored you see a, like a faint line okay we want to separate these hopefully I can get all this on Amazon to help you guys out here uh, my name's uh, Captain McLevin I host a, uh, a twitch stream on uh, uh, Twitch.com. My name's Captain McLovin. I I'm into robotics, and I was trying to figure out a way to crimp this and and make these work because people are saying they don't work. Uh, I don't solder them. I do not solder them because I tried solder them and they wouldn't crimp right and they wouldn't fit into the uh, little uh, connector here. Okay, for like. Um, your like your like your boards here okay it would not would not fit correctly so I'm gonna make this short video so we scored it we want to take our fingernail and just pop it off and there it leaves the bare wire okay um, we're going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one okay so we're gonna do the blue Okay, so you just peel it back like that. Do the blue on this side once you've scored both sides. Okay, take your fingernail once again. You should be able to find the score. Okay. All right, so we've got a bare wire here. We've got a bare wire here and here. Okay. So basically what we want to do is we want to bend that back. Maybe, maybe twist it a little bit. Okay, twist the wire so it stays together. All right. And you want to bend it back. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. Here, let's see here. Okay, so the wire is uh, connected. Okay. I'm going to do the same with this side. Like I said... People have said that the uh, the crimpers didn't work. They don't work. The junk. And I want to show you how I do it. How I crimp the wires. Okay. Now there's two different. There's male and female. Here's here's the here's the female where um, where they where you connect it to a header. But we're just going to go ahead and use these because I don't need a lot of these. But this is a crimp. This is a crimp. Okay, so basically what you want to do is, okay, uh, I, I know where they get these. They probably do not uh, really check the tolerance. So you want to just take a pair of nail nose pliers, kind of squeeze them together just a little bit, okay, where it's not so flared out, okay. So I don't know if you can see that or not see here okay if you see 
one is one is not flared out as much as the other you know and you, you may have to do it a couple of times I mean it once you do it once you do it enough it it becomes very very easy very very easy I mean once you start making these connectors like I said I'm in robotics so I need I need different different connectors okay so here's your crimping pliers the ratchet okay they got an adjuster on there um, I set it to my desired crimp um, but that's how they work okay so what you want to do is uh, if you look in here I don't know if you can see this or not but there's there's like a lip there's like a lip so what what you do is you want to bring okay this okay there's a lip in there and it acts as a stop okay acts as a stop right there okay got to pay very close attention to that all right so what we're going to do is we are going to bring it to that stop close that okay and your crimper should hold it just fine which it does okay and you want to get it past the little nub where um, where this little black notch there's a black notch and what it'll do is it'll stop it from pulling back out okay so we've got our we've got our wire so what we want to do is we want to put it right inside okay now if you look it's going past it you don't want to go past it you want to bring it back almost like even okay slowly squeeze it squeeze all the way till it opens back up ratches it back out okay and there's your crimp now you do have a little bit of wire left you can trim that if you want but uh, I'm not going to trim it I don't think it have a I don't think it would create a problem okay same here you see that little wire okay do not solder them I see a lot of people solder them and it just the the crimping just does not crimp all the way so once again there's a different that you got to pay attention which way they go so you put it in here like this Let's see did I do it wrong yeah it's kind of tedious but once you do enough okay once you do it enough it'll it'll work you'll get used to it and it'll become almost like second nature so you want to slide it down in that hole now like I said sometimes they they are still too far open I think I can get just crimp it just a little bit more okay with your needle nose okay like that shove it down in that hole just like that make sure it's straight go ahead and open sometimes you got it sometimes you open them too too or you get them close too too much here okay there you go see now it stops and that's what you want okay that's exactly what you want you want to stop there's there's a lip uh, inside they're not matching and it creates a stop so you take your wire you stick it in the hole like that give a nice little squeeze 
and there you have it okay and that's how that's how you crimp them now to make sure that it works I'm going to take your meter I use a fluke okay put it on the ohms test okay I got to turn it off turn it on this one automatically turns on very nice very nice fluke meter okay okay so that that works there so what we want to do is ohm it out make sure it's connected and there you guys have it right there okay now don't look at my prong here I've I've uh, <laughs> I tend to um, uh, work on things that are hot which is a no-no okay so it ohms out okay it ohms out and that's what you want guys that's what you want and that's how you uh, crimp using these crimpers and you can buy them as a, you can buy it with a you buy this along with the crimping uh, kit okay so for all of you guys that have purchased this on Amazon um, that's how you do it and that's uh, that's why I found out that it works the best anyway I hope this uh, helps you guys I just want you to have a, a wonderful day and I want to thank you for watching.